There's too much of it. And also, way too little. Water just cannot seem to satisfy Europeans. We want water, and lots of it. We want it readily available, at the beach, and in our cups, let alone in our factories. But we don't want to give water what it demands of us. Why? How would you like to die? Hopefully not swimming in Donau <laughs> although that would be fun. Actually, I would prefer to die in Dona Canal. <laughs> I think it would be great to be in, in water and um, turn to earth. People are building their, their houses in the areas where before were floods. Now they build dikes and if something happened, they're like, oh, that's bad, but you, you, you build it there. It's like, and then you are screaming there are mosquitoes, but you buy land like in an area where there were wetlands, so you know that there will be mosquitoes. Talking with Jakob and talking with the boat companies or not talking with them, which is also a type of communication. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, nice to have spaces that are close by that you kind of ch cherish for what they are and really like maybe don't fly somewhere else, but uh, know also that there is a place close by that is beautiful. You guys want to use water um, as a public space for humans, and you guys think that humans shouldn't take up all the space from, uh, from wildlife. Can you tell us about revitalizing wetlands, this project of yours? All the organization started when the, the like, heater power plant was built on, on Danube. And there happened many, many things. So basically just the, all the water uh, from the, like we call it inland delta, which is like under the, the Bratislava, was, was took and sent to the hydro power plant. So before there was like 2000, cubic uh, meters per second, and now to the like inland delta goes just between 300 and 600, which is like really reduce of, of the flow and everything. And that was like one of the biggest uh, temporarily or all the time flooded uh, wetland, uh, like in probably in Slovakia. And now it's like the water is almost sometimes four meters lower than, than before. So there was like a huge, like reducing of wetland species and, and everything. So tell me, ladies, how did you come up with this idea of swimming in the Donau Canal? Have you always done this? Is this something you like picked up along the lines? Was it ever illegal? Did you have to fight for this? We are swimming where the rats um, and beavers are also swimming. It's in the Donau Canal. And it's a um, side arm of the Danube, which is going through the inner part of the city. It's a cold current that, that runs through Vienna all the time and also in summer when like, a lot of people are searching for cooling down spaces and, and uh, the possibility to yeah, recreate. And the Donau Canal is a great um, resource there, which is ever always there. It's, it's constantly flowing and um, why not you know, activating this um, space with our bodies. That was our question that we asked ourselves uh, three years ago in 2020, when we founded this more artistic um, uh, association in the beginning, which got the title Schwimmverein Donaukanal, which is like a swim club. But actually we are really like lazy, lazy people uh, floating down the current. At the same time, it's not only this individual pleasure, but we also really understood that it has political dimensions, it has a lot of ecological dimensions. So it has all these layers, and I think that makes it such an important um, call to do like, um, and to activate this public and, space. Um, to the question of is it legal to swim there, it is legally allowed, but not recommended. That's the position that the state government takes and the city government, if you want to try it, go ahead, um, but be careful. And in that case, you can check our website where we have fact-checked information about safety.